All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Kashakwala coming back at you with another quick lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Peace, love, salutation to the 11th and 44th first fruit. Um, today, this lesson is uh, pretty much if you don't work, you don't eat. Okay, and without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the scripture. It's the 2nd Thessalonians chapter 3 and 10. It says, For even when we are uh, Salakia. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you, that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Okay? And I'm speaking more on a sense of a carnal sense. All right? But obviously you take this as a spiritual sense. If you don't work in the spiritual light, all right, then you won't um, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay? You won't, you won't, uh, Get the things that that you are um, hoping and wishing for at the end of the day, which <clears throat> I'll show. I'll show what those things we work for. Well, actually, I'll show what the Lord would do if you will work. Okay. Get a one of my favorite scriptures. It's uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sarat 51 and 30. It says, work your work B times, and in his time, he will he will give you your reward. So if you work your work early, all right, get your job done early, bro, all right? It's like when you come into, into work, get the paperwork done early, okay? And in his time, all right, meaning how about Shemi Shai's time, he'll give you your reward. And the reward that he's, he is to give us is great, all right? It's wonderful, all right? And it says in his time. So just on a carnal sense, again, if you come into work early, do your paperwork, get it done real quick, and do it in a, a timely manner with quality, all right? It says in his time. Your boss, in turn, guess what? Your boss, in turn, will... uh. Your boss in turn will give you a raise. Simple as that. Okay? So going back to 2 Thessalonians 3 and 10, it says, For even when we were with you, this we commanded you. So this is a charge. Okay? You got to work. All right? So even in the carnal sense, you got to work. You got to make your money. Figure out a way. You're, you're Israelite. Jake hustles. All right? Hustle to make your living, man. All right? We're in Babylon. Things ain't just handed to you. But at the same time, we're in America. I hate to say it, but uh, they say America is the land of opportunity. Well, God dang it, it is. There's a plethora of way to make money out here. All right? And not to be broke. All right? It says that if any would not work, neither should he eat. That's facts. If you don't work, then you definitely ain't about to eat nothing. Okay? You definitely ain't about to have nothing on the table. Your stomach definitely will be touching the back. Uh, uh, touching your back simple as that okay and even so in the spiritual sense if you don't work well guess what you ain't gonna eat either you're gonna be an everlasting shame okay so verse 11 it says for we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly working not at all but are busy bodies okay it says that walk disorderly so if you ain't working at all you are disorderly. You are dis. You're unruly. Okay. You're com you're completely unruly. Let's get the word disorderly. Disorderly is um a taco octoptos. In the Greek, it says disorderly out of ranks. You out of line, bro. It says often that so are soldiers. Aren't we soldiers? Don't we endure all things for the elect's sake? Aren't we hard? Uh, don't we make ourselves as hardened soldiers? Okay, it says irregular. I mean, you weird, bro. <laughs> you weird if you're disorderly. All right, inordinate, and moderate pleasures, deviating from the prescribed order or rule. All right, but what's the prescribed order or rule? All right, it says this: we command you that if you if you do uh, if any of you will not work. So the commandment is to work, okay? So you're disorderly if you're not working at all, all right? And you're and you're considered a busybody. 
Let's get that word busybody. Strong's G, 4020. Petty Air Godzomai. Petty Air Godzomai. Petty Air It means to bustle about uselessly. So you're a useless individual. All right? Therefore, you're making yourself a schism in the body. It says to, to busy oneself about, about trifling. You know, Drake Black, man, you trifling, bro. You tripping. That's what you're really doing. It says needless. Nobody needs you. All right? Useless matters. Useless, what's useless matters? Trash. All right? Don't be considered trash among the body and among in, in, in the, and also in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh I say use apparently of a person officiously uh, inquisitive about others' affairs. Meaning what? You a female. Okay? That's a female characteristics right there. Always worried about somebody else and want to talk shit about somebody else and stuff. Make no damn sense. Okay? So again, the um, point of this lesson, it says in verse 10, for even when we were with you, this we command you, that if any would not work, neither should you eat. Okay? So you got to work, man. Work your work B times. All right? So you can earn the reward. And keep working. All right? Don't be no busybody and don't be disorderly. All right? Because if you ain't working... You're a busybody and you're disorderly. You're one or the other or both. Okay? So work your work, man. If you don't work, you don't eat. Okay? Simple as that. Closed mouths don't get fed. Simple as that, man. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. This is Brother Kasha Kuala from the GMS Atlanta Church. Until next time, I'm going to say shalom.